what is the difference between frigate and destroyer? While talking about a frigate or a destroyer, we face such questions. What is the difference between them? How can we define a warship as a destroyer? Why do we call it a frigate rather than a destroyer? If you are not a Navy crew or a Navy veteran, it could be hard to distinguish between two types of ships. The main differences between a destroyer and a frigate are tonnage, weapons, mission definition, capabilities and the size to define it roughly. However, there is no standard to define a warship as a destroyer. Different countries have different definitions and ideas about what a destroyer or a frigate should do. For example, while the US Navy describes a 9,000 tonned Ali Burke as a destroyer, Iran may call a 95 metre Mood class ship a destroyer. To understand the difference clearly, we need to take a look at the history. Frigates are the smallest of the three and possibly the smallest blue water ocean spanning warship. Initially, the frigate was a style of design, long, low and fast. Some long fast ships of the line were called frigate built. During the classic age of sail, it was a full ridged ship with a single dedicated gun deck. Depending on the nationality, there was also a minimum gun limit. They were usually used for scouting, patrol, dispatch boats for large fleets and in independent commerce raiding. In the role of patrol and commerce raiding, they acted independently and were sometimes referred to as cruisers. The cruiser was initially a mission, not a ship class. The frigates would cruise the seas. Once armoured with turreted gunned ships became the norm, the frigate became the cruiser. After all, you no longer had a gun deck, the defining feature of a frigate. The term frigate disappeared around the late 1800s or so. It did not reappear again until the Second World War. The British needed a vessel for convoy escort. The destroyers were serving in much the same role as the frigates during the Age of Sail. A middle class was created that was not as fast or heavily armed as destroyers but still faster than the convoys. It was bigger than the patrol boats to carry more fuel and endure the rough ocean weather and waves. The British recycled the term frigates for this new class of ships. Destroyers In naval terminology, a destroyer is a fast, manoeuvrable, long endurance warship intended to escort larger vessels in a fleet, convoy or battle group and defend them against powerful short-range attackers. They were originally developed in the late 19th century by Fernando Villamil for the Spanish Navy as a defence against torpedo boats and by the time of the Russo-Japanese War in 1904, these torpedo boat destroyers were large, swift and powerfully armed torpedo boats designed to destroy other torpedo boats. Although the term destroyer had been used interchangeably with TBD and torpedo boat destroyer by Navy since 1892, the term torpedo boat destroyer had been generally shortened to simply destroyer by nearly all navies by the First World War. Destroyers are much smaller than battleships but larger than frigates. They usually have one smaller gun, 5 inches compared to lower 16 inch beasts, and lots of missiles, including anti-ship surface to air and cruise missiles. Tomahawks in the American case. Modern destroyers often have a helicopter pad as well, which helps with anti-submarine warfare. Frigate vs Destroyer Today, the line between a frigate and destroyer is blurred. In general, a destroyer is heavier, carries more firepower and is slightly faster than a frigate. Frigates also tend to have more of a focus on anti-submarine missions. However, both classes are frequently multi-mission capable. In more extensive engagements, frigates would either group up to take on larger threats, escort a larger ship to prevent it, from being flanked. A destroyer is its namesake. It's meant to kill other ships, planes, people and submarines. On the other hand, there is more availability of frigates and are less costly to build in comparison to destroyers. In modern naval warfare, looking at different threats, when faced with aircraft attacks, destroyers tend to defend themselves against a modern threat and protect any ships in the composition. Therefore, they are longer range weapons and have sensor systems. Frigates are not generally required to protect others, but they're designed to defend themselves.